nearly four years since Liverpool were last beaten at Anfield. And now Burnley has done it, winning 1-0 after a penalty incited by Allison. Uh, leads to Burnley winning 1-0 and securing three points as they try to avoid a relegation battle, as well as Liverpool failing to secure three points and break their lack of goals and goal drought in recent form. But let's talk about it. We're going to review and just uh, give some quick analysis on what happened and what occurred at Anfield. Um, very surprising, though, from how Liverpool played and very admirable for what uh, Burnley did and how they were so resilient. Um, first of all, game started, I'd say, fairly well. The buildup was uh, quite clear. Uh, they focused on the left wing with uh, Robertson and Mane, and it seemed to give some results, I'd say. Some results for the uh, short period of time it was. But then it started shifting to the right wing, and uh, more so it was Alexander-Arnold and Trent, uh, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold and him crossing it into uh, the box. And uh, the commentators uh, that I was listening to, Jamie Carragher, was even saying how it's not a... It's not really working, and it, it was clear to see. Uh, if you look at the stats for the game, uh, aerial duels were pretty much uh, uh, dominated uh, for uh, Burnley's box uh, by Tarkowski. Tarkowski getting five aerial duels, and Barnes as well getting six aerial duels, uh, winning them. And uh, the main thing for Liverpool was that so many of them just did not play well. I'd say the only player that... The only one or two players that I saw that played all right was Allison until that penalty. Uh, then it until that penalty and that rash decision to keep, uh, go out. And uh, Matip, uh, Joel Matip, uh, did all right. But then, then it just fell apart. That defense has been fairly solid, I'd say, without Virgil van Dijk. And uh, they slipped up. And Fabinho in particular letting uh, Har uh, the Ashley Barnes... Uh, uh, letting him go and ultimately Ashley Barnes managing to get ahead and uh, secure a penalty which he netted into the net but first half I'd say was fairly dominant for Liverpool but again just multiple attempts into the box that just don't work out they don't win they don't win those and uh, Nick Pope in particular uh, securing and very uh, he was very authoritative in his box and uh uh, multiple saves, Mo Salah uh, uh, saving a, a Mo Salah shot when he went on the bench. Um, I think it was an interesting decision, though. Uh, speaking of Mo Salah, was him not being as well as uh, uh, Roberto Firmino. On, they were both on the bench uh, in 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 uh, in replacement of Zerdan uh, Shakiri and Origi. Origi, uh, though, I I think Origi in the first half, I'd say the first 20, 30 minutes. Uh, he did all right where he got a couple long shots. They were just little, they didn't work out. Uh, Nick Pope managed to get them. and uh, But the biggest thing he did, one-on-one -on -one with Nick Pope, and he and he, and he just didn't, he just missed. And Benjamin Mead uh, made that mistake uh, where he was trying to clear the ball or uh, clear the ball back to Nick Pope, and he lost it, and uh, Origi got past him, and Origi did not net it in. And I think that uh, me would have uh, a way worse game if Origi uh, netted it in. But me, Tarkowski, and Pope, and I'd say for the first uh, early first half, uh, Taylor were looking very, very strong in uh, defensively getting a lot of blocks in, and uh, as well as some of the other players in that uh, Burnley back line. But Burnley, in oh my God, I'd say Burnley played really well. And they did have a lot. They had a very clear structure. Uh, defensively solid and they maintained uh, the shape and made sure that none of the Liverpool players could get at many of the Liverpool players just couldn't get any room and uh, they couldn't get a shot in and they had to do either corners or uh, trying to get in with crosses from Trent or Robertson and then it's just interesting with the tactic that putting in crosses and I don't think that it's Trent didn't have a great game, but I think that Trent looked worse because of the numerous attempts that they had, and it just didn't work out. And Roberto Firmino also nearly getting a uh, nearly getting a goal uh, two times, and he just poor finish, and uh, the uh, just didn't work out. I, it's, I'm the more I look at this uh, side, I think that Liverpool just can't win 
the title this season. I don't think it's possible for them to, uh, especially if this current run of form continues. Uh, and I think they're really missing Jota, uh, especially right now, because Shakiri, uh, Oxley, Chamberlain, Minamino, they are not. They don't have enough quality at this moment. They're not. They can't provide enough, and I think Jota has proven earlier in the season that he can provide that, and he would have been a perfect uh, player to bring in because he did play really well until that injury. And Thiago, another player that I think did all right, but again, Thiago, a lot of stupid challenges, uh, giving away some set pieces, and as well as Thiago, he, he, was, he controls the ball well, of course. But Thiago... He's going to have some discipline issues, it seems, because multiple fouls. And I am surprised that, again, he has not gotten a yellow card. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Liverpool. And I'm sure I'm sure they'll come back to it because I think that the squad still has that same quality that will bring them back. But the main issue for them is that this Burnley side knew exactly what they were going to do. And it worked out. Sean Dyche, uh, they've didn't look too solid in for much of the season where they were close to the relegation zone not as well as they did last season but uh they're the, those two defensive partners uh Tarkowski and me um they're pretty, I'd say at least at least top 5 uh center back pairs uh in in the Premier League right now and uh they've been really consistent strong in the air and uh just as well Ashley Barnes uh Ashley Barnes uh securing a penalty and uh he really worked his ass off today, and I think that's admirable as well. But Liverpool losing at Anfield after nearly four years. April 2017 was their last defeat here. And uh, in the end, Burnley uh, get three hard-fought points, and Nick Pope and me in particular being those two key players in making sure that they kept a clean sheet.